Hello there, this is Bren Antrim, one of the librarians at the Santa Monica College Library. Today we're going to be talking about um, a specific database, JSTOR. In order to get there from the campus homepage, you can mouse over student support and click on library. You can click on student support and scroll down to academics to find the library, or you can type it in directly, smc.edu slash library, and take you there. There are a number of places you could go on this page to begin your research, but we're going for a specific database, so we're going to go directly into the Databases button. If you're unsure where to go, you can ask a librarian or ask us using this pop-out. Within the databases, again, you have a number of different directions you could go to explore our databases. You can talk, click by topic. You can go into specific types of databases, and this is judged by the type of content that they have. Keep in mind that neither of these limiters brings up databases that have a mixture of articles. So, for example, if your database has newspapers and book chapters and academic journal articles, it will not come up in the newspapers only or the scholarly articles only. Um, if your database has history and sociology, it will not come up in just history. So be careful when you're using your limiters, you could be missing databases. If you have a specific database in mind and you know how to spell the title, you can search for the database by title. If you're not quite sure how to spell it, you can go by the first letter of that, or you can scroll all the way down the 70 plus databases that we have and hope you remember it. I highly recommend just heading into the letter. Once you find your database, you click on the title of the database. If you're not already logged in, in other words, if you're on your own device or you're off campus, you will be required to log in with your same login that you use for Canvas and Corsair Connect. Now, there are a number of ways that you can search this database, and you don't necessarily have to fill in absolutely everything. So I'm going to do a general search to show you how to navigate it. So if I'm looking for example, for artificial intelligence, but I'm not as interested in how it writes scripts, and I'm more interested in how it affects medicine, I can search the overlap of those two search terms. For your access type, you want to leave it at only those things I can actually access. You don't want to find something that you would then have to pay extra for. I tend to narrow my results down, but right now I'm not going to just because I want to show you what happens if you don't. This is an international database, so limit it to those um, languages that you can read and write. Now, depending upon your discipline or area of your topic, you might have different publication dates. If you're looking for something in history or literature or philosophy, it might be perfectly useful if it's 10 or 15 or 20 years old. If you're looking for medicine, you probably, or law or technology, and this is both medicine and technology, you probably want to stick to about the last five years. I'm going to leave the rest blank, and I'm also going to ignore all of these various subdivisions. These are the different things, different title areas that this database covers, and I'm going to look at that in the second part of my search. So when I submit my search, I come up with over 1400 results. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, within this, we have journals, we have chapters from books, we have research reports. I want to actually look at the research reports. That cuts out most of those and it finds research reports that are specifically on this topic. So if I'm in a science class, this would be very helpful. Then I look through and I can, if I so choose, narrow it even further, but this is a good beginning. I can add some more search terms or I can um, modify my search here and add another limiter like say United States or um, diabetes or something like that or surgery. But for now, I'm going to keep it simple and head into one of these to show you how it works. So if I head in here and I say, um, I'm going to look at artificial intelligence is changing the health sector. Unlike many other databases, I don't just click on the title um, because if you click on the title, you're getting it page by page. If you want to send it to yourself, you're going to have to download it and send the download as an attachment in your email because of the way that JSTOR is set up. 
you can read it page at a time if you like and when you do that it will show you a PDF of this article in the context of this journal and again here it allows you to download it so that you can email it to yourself it does not have a direct e um, e email link you can save it you can share it and you can cite it if you cite it make sure that you choose the correct um, citation format so if I'm in a health class or a science class I might be using APA and then once you copy that and put it into your paper make sure that it is correct using the template that your instructor has given you to use okay so that's how you find limit download to email and cite an article in JSTOR then you can go back to your results you can remove one of the limiters and say instead give me scholarly journal articles that broadens it out a little and that allows you also to go within subjects and say within these subjects I want to look for those that are specific to health sciences or health policy so that is how you use the discipline of the journals to narrow your search down to make it more specific to what you're looking for and at any time you can remove any of these filters and reconfigure your search if you have any questions at any time please ask a librarian we are available 24 7 if you ask us during a time when the SMC library is open you'll talk to one of us if you ask us during a time when the library is closed, you will talk to a college or university librarian who belongs to the International Consortium of which we're a part. But at all times, you will be speaking with a librarian. Good luck with your research and take care.